Hi there. Today I'm going to review Charlie One by Sean Hartner. Now this is uh, a unique book because uh, it covers a subject which has been covered before um, in uh, a handful of books but uh, the current book is more up to date than any of the others before uh, but it's also written by a, a chap who is one of the support staff rather than an operator in the unit and the unit is what is commonly known as the debt 14th inch or more recently jacuni which was the name being used at the time that um, the author was with the unit so sean hartner was born in the republic of ireland uh, near cork and uh, decided to join the british army uh, he joined the signals and uh, after training uh, was deployed to various places including sierra leone he hears about uh, a unit called Jakuni and uh, what he hears it's it's quite relaxed as regards um, wearing uniforms and uh, discipline and so on and a fair amount of time off so he likes the idea of that uh, but is told that he's got no chance of um, making it because he is um, from uh, the Republic. But he perseveres and eventually his um, commanding officer who he had a good relationship with in Sierra Leone puts in a word for him and he uh, is accepted uh, initially. So he deploys over to Northern Ireland, goes through um, an orientation and familiarization process at Lisbon where he's told about the organization and really for the first time he finds out what he's got himself into and um, the uh, Jakuni was divided into uh, teams called SCTs number one was North Debt which was at Limavady number two was at Moscow camp in Belfast and had uh, an cover role and a secret role which he only found out about later on and he reveals in the book uh, three is East Debt at um, Palace Barracks in Belfast four is the headquarters at uh, Lisbon and then five to nine SCTs uh, are all down at South Debt in um, Aldergrove and uh, co-located uh, with South Debt is uh, a detachment from the SAS. So he finds out um, the role, um, covert intelligence gathering in support of the uh, RUC and um, is then um, sent to uh, North Debt up at uh, Limavady which he finds is um, a former airfield uh, and tucked away inside a, a rather large conventional army camp is uh, a compound which is uh, one SCT and uh, straight away his accent uh, causes consternation but uh, he manages to uh, make a joke about it and everyone relaxes and uh, eventually gets accepted uh, the work is uh, the workload is is pretty full on and the work of the radio technician which is what he is coming from signals um what, what they call a bleep is is um, pretty arduous and his predecessors um, weren't really up to scratch so he is given the gypsies warning that he, he's really got to um, screw the nut and get the job done and what the job is is um, quite a a lot of um, different responsibilities 
there's a an extensive camera network now the UK uh, you know we have CCTV uh, as a, a normal thing here but at that time in the province it was absolutely saturated and you had um, the overhead cameras in the city centers but they were adapted for very very long range capability and, and the ability to be controlled by the decks uh, as well as various covert cameras um, which were hidden uh, inside various uh, cover um, apparatus so um, <clears throat> certain locations were heavily covered by uh, cameras and um, individuals could be tracked uh, either on foot or vehicle um, fairly extensively by this network. Uh, the other main responsibility was um, doing the vehicle fits uh, for uh, communication equipment uh, which have to be totally covert within the vehicle. Also hidden cameras and the bang boxes, the distraction devices. Uh, and there was constant tweaking uh, to make sure that, that the radios work properly um, at all speeds in the cars and so on. And one of the things he took part in during this phase was new ops um, go through a hare and hounds uh, orientation process where they're sent out and uh, given a, a head start and then the uh, experienced operators have to find them. And he was given the chance to join in on this in the car being chased just to give him the feel uh, of what's needed by the operators and how the communication equipment worked actually in the field. The book details um, an attack by the um, bad guys, the IRA or IRA sympathizer on one of the huge masts in Londonderry, an overt mast, um, load of mast men break in, set fire to it, um, and uh, the police and fire brigade have to react, but also the army, but they have to do it in a, a covert way so it doesn't reveal the true nature of what that mast's uh, capabilities were. So that was one of the things. Another um, very interesting uh, couple of chapters detail something that, as far as I know, has never been revealed before, and that is um, a training deployment by members of the DET to Colombia. Now, the SAS was sent to Colombia to train the counter narcotics uh, units over there. Uh, but the uh, so their surveillance people in uh, Colombia also needed training to a, a high standard, and um, the debt sent personnel equipped fully equipped with vehicles that were already um, bleeped up, um, so they could uh, demonstrate and operate on the ground over there. And um, as he says in the book. Um, in the in the army if you want to find out a secret you just get people in the bar and once they've had a few drinks they'll tell you nearly anything and a lot of stuff in the book comes from that but um, some of it is is quite sensitive material really uh, and another um, episode details where two of the guys uh, rather the worst for wear in the bar again <laughs> Um, decide to take a flight in one of the helicopters. They have the gazelles for um, uh, aerial um, reconnaissance, and uh, the pilots and one one of the experienced guys go out full of um, drink. The uh, pilot allows his uh, passenger to take control, and they crash, and they crash into the um, the side of the loch, and um, uh, the, the helicopter's obviously damaged and uh, one of the two is uh, very very severely injured but neither are killed and um, 
the incident um, has to be investigated, but being a secret unit, um, the SIB who trying to investigate it are just met with uh, blank stares and short memories. So uh, all in all, it's a very interesting book. As I say, it, it covers the more recent uh, era of uh, covert operations in Northern Ireland, right up to the point where <clears throat> there's the drawdown and the uh, regional debts start being dismantled, but everything, uh, there's a whole new setup at South and that takes over and the whole um, province is able to be covered from there. That's at the end of his tour. Obviously later on, um, responsibility was handed over to the Special Reconnaissance Regiment and um, the, the fight has gone on from there. Uh, interesting book. Uh, as I say, it's um, got a lot of uh, revelations in it. Uh, and uh, I think anybody interested in that period of history will find it most interesting.